how do you see the, the role of the European countries in the refugee cri refugees crisis and uh, Arabic uh, uh, countries in this crisis? I think that uh, personally, I think that Europe, as you as you may know, I'm uh, you know I'm quite active in uh, uh, promoting uh, the Mediterranean uh, cooperation between uh, the southern and northern shores of the Mediterranean. I'm the president of uh, an organization, Med Confederation, which tries to to federate uh, the activities of different uh, organizations and associations around the Mediterranean. So I believe very much in the Mediterranean, and I believe very much in, uh, in uh, uh, one of the greatest opportunities that exists in the world today, which is uh, that of the Mediterranean playing the role of uh, a trade union, a bridge between Europe and Africa. Uh, I was very much involved in, in, in Africa uh, 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 you know, uh, previously, and so I, I know that that continent has a tremendous potential. But I have to admit that uh, I don't see Europe taking uh, seriously uh, the southern shores of the Mediterranean. I don't think that they have looked, uh, there are a few exceptions, okay? But I don't think that Europe has looked with a great deal of interest uh, in, uh, you know, into North Africa or, or even, you know, the extended shores of, uh, you know, southern shores of the, uh, of the Mediterranean. And I think they're losing a tremendous opportunity. I believe that Europe has lost an amazing opportunity to support Tunisia and to support the, the democratic process in Tunisia. And what we have seen is that uh, while they're exhibiting, uh, you know, exuberance uh, following the revolution in Tunisia, they took a very, very tough uh, stance on uh, the migrants that are coming out. After all, these are, you know, these are humans and uh, their rights are uh, protected by, you know, international laws and conventions. And uh, it's a problem. Uh, I did mention to you earlier that uh, we, we have seen uh, an, uh, a notable increase of the number of migrants out of Tunisia right after the revolution because of the f failure, I think, uh, of the security uh, apparatus at the time. But I think that uh, the problem was, uh, I mean, if the problem stayed at the level of uh, the, the migrants coming out of Northern Europe, I don't think that uh, we, uh, I mean, it could have been tackled, right? But now it's, it's becoming a horrendous problem with all the migrants coming from, uh, you know, from the Middle East uh, and the Far East. And, uh, the, the, you know, they go into Turkey and uh, Germany and what have you. So it's a real issue today. And I believe that if Europe uh, has focused more on the southern shores and uh, uh, helped uh, those countries in uh, their development efforts, okay, just like they did for Eastern Europe, right? I think the problem would have been alleviated uh, tremendously. And uh, moreover, uh, I think they would have been in a much better position to guard themselves against a terrorist threat today. Uh, particularly, you know, with all the migrant flows coming out of Libya.